In a world of towering machines and audacious engineering, the Soviet Union dared to dream bigger than most. From airborne tanks to colossal submarines, we're diving deep into the heart of the USSR's most staggering creations. Get ready to witness the giants of Soviet engineering. In a world of lasers and sci-fi fantasies, the Soviets made fiction a reality with the 1K-17 Shati. This peculiar vehicle isn't just another tank. It's equipped with an array of lasers meant to blind enemy optics. Weighing in at 40 tons and with a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour, its mission was clear, to disrupt enemy lines of sight and electronic instruments, ensuring the Soviet forces had the edge in electronic warfare. From the realms of the almost surreal comes the 2B1 Oka, a self-propelled howitzer that boldly challenges our perceptions of artillery. Bearing a mammoth 420 mm gun, this behemoth was designed during the Cold War era, its main cannon so large that it could potentially launch nuclear projectiles. Although it never entered full-scale service, the Oka remains a testament to the sheer audacity of Soviet engineering. Who said tanks couldn't fly? Meet the Antonov N-40, a daring experiment that melded the raw power of armored warfare with the freedom of the skies. This airborne tank was designed to be released from a mother aircraft, gliding down to join ground forces in the heat of battle. Though it never saw operational service, the concept itself showcases the lengths the USSR went to in seeking battlefield innovations. Diving into the realm of environmental preservation, the Soviets envisioned the EKIAP, an amphibious aircraft tailored for ecological monitoring. Designed to touch down on water, snow, or land, this unique machine had the versatility to survey the diverse landscapes of the USSR. With its wingtips slightly curving downward, it's a prime example of marrying function with form in Soviet aeronautics. Silently navigating the ocean depths, the K-84 Yekaterinburg, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, served as a silent guardian and deterrent during tense Cold War years. With its capability to launch ballistic missiles from beneath the waves, it ensured that the Soviet Second Strike capability remained robust, adding layers of strategic depth to their defense doctrine. In the golden age of aviation, where giants of the sky began to emerge, the Kalinin K-7 staked its claim. This enormous aircraft, with its seven engines and a wingspan rivaling modern jumbo jets, was more like a flying fortress than a plane. With its unconventional twin boom design and capability to carry up to 128 passengers, the K-7 remains an iconic chapter in aviation history. Imagine skimming across the water's surface at jet-like speeds, aboard something that's neither plane nor ship. Enter the Lund-class Ekranoplan, the Caspian Sea's very own monster, stretching a massive 73 meters in length and weighing a colossal 380 tons. This ground effect vehicle was designed to glide over water, exploiting the aerodynamic interaction between its wings and the surface below. Its most daunting feature? Six anti-ship missiles mounted on its back, ready to unleash havoc. When we talk about power combined with elegance, the Mil Mi 6 stands tall. Once crowned the world's largest and fastest production helicopter, this flying Titan could carry up to 65 troops or 12,000 kilograms of cargo. Spanning over 33 meters in length and with a rotor diameter of 35 meters, the Mi-6 wasn't just a transport chopper, it was a symbol of Soviet air prowess. Elevating the classic helicopter silhouette, the Mil Mi-10 emerged as a flying crane. This military transport chopper had an unconventional design with extended landing gear, allowing it to pick up large cargoes in a hovering grab fashion. Capable of lifting loads up to 15 tons and with a maximum speed of 235 km per hour, it demonstrated Soviet prowess in the realm of vertical lift. Long before the modern tanks dominated battlefields, there existed a tricycle design so bold it's hard to believe. The Tsar tank defies conventional tank imagery. Instead of treads, it relied on two gigantic 9-meter front wheels, resembling a bicycle more than an armored vehicle. Although its operational efficacy was questionable, its sheer design creativity leaves an indelible mark on military history. Water, land, or sky, why choose when you can conquer all three? The VVA-14, an experimental aircraft, was designed with an ambitious goal, to hunt down and destroy submarines. 
With its inflatable pontoons and vertical takeoff capabilities, this amphibious machine could hover above sea surfaces, transitioning smoothly between flight and marine operation. Boasting a wingspan of 30 meters and the capacity to carry 30 torpedoes, the VVA-14 was the Soviet answer to naval threats of the time. Adversity breeds innovation, and the ZVM-2901 stands as a testament to this. For the vast, unyielding terrains of the Soviet Union, this tracked vehicle was engineered to traverse swamps, tundras, and shallow waters. Its segmented and flexible tracks were its claim to fame, letting it maneuver where other vehicles would be left stranded, reinforcing Soviet supremacy in all-terrain vehicles.